with Fender amps from pros all the way down to beginners, it's the tone that most people have been searching for their entire life. They listen to music, they hear their favorite bands, and what they maybe don't realize at the time is that most of those sounds that they're hearing are Fender amplifiers. And the thing about Fenders is they have such a distinctive sound that when someone's looking for the tone that they hear in their head, maybe it's Clapton, maybe it's someone else, they want the sound that is Fender. There's something really unique and identifiable about that sound. And so to us, it's one of the staples of what we do. And so it makes sense that we would say, we know what you're looking for, it's the, it's the Fender sound. We've actually released uh, quite a few amps this year, spanning the gamut of beginner amps all the way up to pro amps. Um, stuff like the Champion Series, um, we've given beginners or people starting their first bands um, a lot of flexibility and great tones. Uh, Champion 100 is a 100 watt amp. It's got you know, it's got the volume they need, but it's got great effects and great tones. We've got the the new Pawn Shop series, so you've got the Vaporizer and the Rampart. Those have their own kind of quirky thing going on. They're great for players that want unique tones that don't sound like anything else that they've heard before with really unique features and really just cool looking, funky style to them. All the way up to the 68 Customs, uh, the Princeton Deluxe and Twin, uh, they have modifications that we've done that a lot of players usually ask for when they have amplifiers, things that help them sound better with their pedals or they want the amp to break up sooner, things that actually they would ask maybe their tech to do, we've done for them. Everything from a beginner all the way up to someone that's playing on large stages, we've got something for them this year. We've had people like uh, Mike Campbell, who uh, a lot of guitarists look to for great taste and great tone, and they have all the amps that you could imagine. And we found out that he really loved the Excelsior amplifier, and it's a part of his live rig, which uh, surprised us and made us really happy, but he loves it. And uh, we did a really cool thing and, and made him a special one in Tweed, and, and, and now it's a part of his rig and his sound. We had John Mayer by the booth, and he tried the 68 Custom Deluxe Reverb, and he spent a good 20, 30 minutes playing it. Loved the way it sounded, he loved the touch sensitivity about it, and he felt like it was, it was the way he sounded, just amplified. And I think that's what makes Fenders so special. We also had Ryan Adams, and the, the big part of his sound is a 68 Princeton. He's been using those in the studio, I know, and really loves the way they sound. He finds that, um, they hang with, with his original 65 Princeton Reverbs, which is great to hear. There was a video leaked on Fender. It uh, wasn't supposed to be show up. We had some scientists working on the vaporizer amp. Uh, we had a mishap. Uh, I really feel bad for uh, number 46, um, but w just, just so his family knows, he went to a better place. But yeah, we actually have the scientists that worked on the amplifier coming by the booth. It's gonna be a lot of fun. They're gonna make sure that when anyone plays the vaporizer that the same thing that happened to number 46 isn't gonna happen to them. We promise this time.